Hello guys, it's uh, Ed here from Zantini Menswear. Um, today's a video, I have a very good friend of mine, Cosimina. Good day Cosimina. Hi, how are you? Um, just around the corner in all the, the seasonal parties, Christmas and New Year's, which is very big over here. Um, what I'd like to you know, find out today is what sort of outfits should a guy wear to these Christmas parties? Should he wear a dinner suit? Should he just wear a suit just coming from work? Um, because uh, a lot of guys don't have dinner suits and they don't want to have that expense just for that one time a year. So if we do buy a dinner suit, what type of dinner suit should we get? Um, and maybe how we can accessorize with jackets and suits and things like that. So I'll uh, hand you over to Cosimina. Okay, so one thing you have to remember is that you're still working even though you're going to a proper Christmas dinner or New Year's Eve, whatever it is, it's still a business fund. Yeah. So you still have to look professional. Of course, yeah. Um, there's two ways you can look at it. You can either think about it as going straight to the function from work. If that's the case, then just change one or two things about your look and it will give you a total Okay. So it could be a matter of just changing you know, the tie and turning it into a festive tie, a red tie. Um, or something like that, and that would just change the look of the whole suit. That's true, yeah. From the classic blue tie, change it to a nice red tie, that would change the look. It could be a matter of actually just changing the jacket. These are things that you can actually bring to the office and literally, you know, throw them on afterwards. A great jacket, this is a nice um, classic jacket with a bit of a twist to it, with the lapel, the two different lapels. Now, if you're wearing a dark suit to work anyway, you've got black trousers or dark black trousers, there's no reason why you can't just throw this on. You can take your suit jacket off. Yep, you can take the suit jacket off, put this jacket on, and it will totally change the look of the outfit because it's more of an evening look, maybe a younger look. You can throw a different, you know, different shirt on, a checkered shirt. Um, it could be a blue and white, blue red and white. This is the about the event or where you're going, actually. Do you need to wear a tie or just...? That depends on the function. Okay. And basically, if your boss is wearing a tie, yes, you should be wearing Fair a tie. <laughs> Um, and it really depends on where it's at. You know, if it's a if it's a dinner or an event at a hotel, or if it's just drinks at a pub, you know, so you don't wear the tie. If you're not wearing the tie, it's actually going to take the tie off totally and not just wear it. So you can cut this sort of look. Yeah. So, yeah. So you've got this sort of look, um, and that'll look great for that. If, you know, if you don't want the that, coming into Coming into summer when it's really hot, maybe the, the idea is just to throw a vest on. This is becoming very popular now. Though. Really, really popular, great for the races as well. Um, but throw a vest on and that will change the total look. So whether you've got a coloured um, shirt underneath or just a plain work shirt, white shirt, yeah. um, you can just change the look of the vest. That's a good Again, idea, with, with business trousers um, that you've got on, that's another look. Yeah. It's sort of casual, not casual, it's more it's still business, it's still corporate. It still looks different for the party. Yeah, that's right. Um, for a dinner suit, um, would you recommend buying a dinner suit or could you wear a black suit? You could wear a black suit. Um, if you wore a black suit, then I would not recommend wearing a, a shirt with the, the, the wing collars. The wing collars. Yeah. Wear a classic white shirt, you're much better off wearing a really crisp yeah. in your look. If you're going to get a dinner suit, then yes, wear the white, wear the wing um, collar, that'll look great. And you can match with whatever you know, bow tie you want, depending on whatever the season or the theme is or what your partner's wearing, whatever. Yeah. But um, the classic suit is great and the, the classic formal suit is really good. You always get away with that in all of these. It's actually easy to wear a formal suit without wearing the shirt off your back, yeah. or vice versa. Like, okay. So you've got a bit more versatility you've got more well. versatility with this. So if you're going to a couple of events, yeah. you might be better just to buy one of them. Just buy, buy one suit. You maintain it, look after it, dry clean it after every event, even though you don't wear it as often. Well. It's much better than you dry clean that once you've worn it for the season, and then, you know, it will be in the water for a few months, but it's aired and it looks really crisp when you do go to the other place. Thank you, Cosmina. That's uh, really helpful. Um, a little offer we've got for you here. Um, anybody that follows back to uh, this uh, video, uh, the top 10 people will get a, uh, a discount 10% off everything they buy for their seasonal parties. And uh, we can arrange a, 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 an image consulting with Cosmina as well. Thank you for your time again. See you, ne see you next time. Thank you.